How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three really effective ways to add some detail in your procedural materials. Uh, but before that, let me get into today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes, creative and curious people. Skillshare has so many good classes on there, not just Blender, but composition, lighting, color, so many good things. One course I really love is Remington Markham's brand new Your First Animation Blender course. You can learn so much good stuff there, especially if you're a beginner. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare is super affordable. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. No matter what 2021 brings you, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online class because time is what you make it. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare believes a strong community is essential to personal growth. Tap into the support of fellow creatives who help provide encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a 30% off annual premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. Now let's get back into the tutorial. All right, we're back. So this works in pretty much every 2.8 version, 2.9 version of Blender here. So whatever new version you have, um, this should work. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get an Icosphere. Uh, being that these are procedural materials, it doesn't really matter what model you use. This will work on all models. So let's go straight into shading and let me show you these three little tricks. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click new and delete these um, little windows here. I'm not gonna be using them. So I'm gonna set up a really simple pattern and what I'm gonna show you works on any pattern, anything you're working on, I'm just using this as a quick, simple solution. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Shift A and get a bump node here, plug this into here, and then we're gonna go ahead, get in a uh, Voronoi texture. If you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can hit Control-T. If you don't have that, just get a mapping node and a texture coordinate. And I'm gonna use the object coordinate here and plug the distance into the height. Just so we can see it better, we're gonna get a dark color. And I'm gonna switch over here to distance to edge. This, this is one of my favorite patterns. So I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. So here we have kind of a rocky, almost sort of the base of a leather texture pattern. And I wanna add some detail to it. So here's one of the ways you can do it. I'm gonna hit Shift A and get a noise texture. We're gonna bring it right here and we're gonna put the vector into the vector. Let's get a mix RGB. So again, we have this just regular Voronoi bump texture going on. We're kinda, that's all this Voronoi texture will give us. We need to add some more um, detail. So we're gonna use this noise texture and plug it into the factor of color two. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the overlay um, mode here on the mix RGB. And then if we play with this scale, you can start seeing it work. So now we're adding some detail to this Voronoi. I'm gonna give my detail at 12, just kind of leave it there. So now we have some detail added to the pattern of our Voronoi. And you can kind of play with how much of that you want here with your mix RGB. And that is one way you can add some subtle pattern, some subtle details to a texture um, right here. Now, you do have control of both of those patterns at once with this bump, so you can really kind of mess with how strong both of those patterns are, but say you want to have some control over each individual um, texture, you know, via talking about the bump. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this and uh, move it over. We don't want this to be duplicated. I mean, we want to duplicate, so we're going to click the little number two, and let's move on to this texture. So we're gonna go back to square one here with just the Voronoi. And we also have this noise texture that we wanna to use to add some detail. So what you can do, I'm gonna hit G to move this over, move this back. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift D and duplicate this bump, plug the normal to the normal, and plug the noise into the height of the bump, just like we have going on here with the Voronoi texture. So now we kinda, of, so now that texture is overlaying on top of everything rather than this one, it's kind of just overlaying on the 
the top portion of that texture. So it's going to be a different look. Now what's cool about this is, say this, you just want it to be a very subtle bump on here. You can add just a small amount of strength here with the bump node. So now just very subtle over everything. So you have this Voino texture with a little bit of detail on top, making it very subtle. And then you can make this really strong on the bump scale and this really weak on the bump scale for the noise. And you kind of have more control over that. So now you can play with it with two bumps. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna hit Shift D and duplicate this circle again. I'm gonna hit the little two to duplicate that. And we're gonna go back and start at square one again with just the Voronoi texture. This is the third way that I like to add detail. Now this is something I've done about a hundred times here on the channel, um, but I wanted to add it here because it is a way of adding detail. So I'm gonna hit Shift A and get in a noise texture, search noise, plop it right here on what's called the vector line. Now you have all these swirls and you can go ahead and give your detail scale of 12. Now it's pretty much unrecognizable. Again, we're trying to just add detail to the Voronoi pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in a mix RGB. So Shift A, search mix RGB, plug it there. We'll put the object coordinate into color two. Now the power in using this is this really cool factor slider. So if you bring the factor back to one, we're just seeing this noise texture. I mean, sorry, this Voronoi texture. Bring it over here to zero. We're seeing a total effectiveness of the noise texture. So if we just wanna take these patterns and kind of warp them a little bit, you can just bring that factor over. So we're changing this Voronoi texture to be a little bit rocky. Also adding detail to these um, sort of straight slopes. You see how these kind of straight lines happening? We're adding some jagged detail to them by bringing in the mix of that. And now we have a really cool Voronoi texture, very custom cool texture. So there you go. That is my three ways of adding um, detail to different patterns. This one, of course, just using a mix RGB right here, using the overlay. This one, where we just duplicate a bump and run them both into each other so they're just evenly spread on top of each other. And we have this fun little vector line trick here to add detail. So there you go. I hope you guys learned some stuff and I will see you in the next video.